So, today we got a big, big news load dumped upon us. And if you're seeing this, you're seeing this on a Tuesday. So, it's late night here. It's actually Tuesday on the East Coast. So, shut up. But we got some big news coming out from the USFL and Fox Sports today. We got the team names for the USFL. We got them all. We got all eight of them here. Thanks to Colin Cowherd and, you know, those Fox guys. They're, they're doing their thing. So we got the North Division. First off, yes, we have the Visions. The Michigan Panthers will be the first team, the New Jersey Generals, the second, the Philadelphia Stars, and then the Pittsburgh Maulers in the North Division to round it out. And in the South Division, of course, you got the Birmingham Stallions. That's where all the games are presumably going to be played in Birmingham and either Protective Stadium. Most of those games will be held there or Legion Field. And, you know, the Houston Gamblers, the New Orleans Breakers, and the Tampa Bay Bandits round out the South Division for the time being. I cannot wait for this. I cannot, I, I really can't wait. The season is slated to start on April the 15th and July the 3rd, so that's a good 12 weeks of football right there. Makes perfect sense, you know, 12 weeks of football, you know, 12 weeks of the season. Got 40 games in the regular season, 10 for each team, which makes perfect sense in all honesty. And, of course, you know, the semifinals and the Playoff or the rather the championship excuse me. The championship game. You know, the USFL championship. So we'll we'll see how all that goes. We'll see how this all works out. We're still battling COVID a little bit, so I wonder how that's going to factor in. That's one of the big things that's gonna factor in. Yeah, I'm seeing that there is going to be a 50-50 split between Fox and NBC. I know NBC was rumored to be the other, you know, bidder in this whole thing. So it's going to be a 50-50 thing that I know of. You know, and it seems like, you know, some of these games are going to be on Fox. Some of these games are going to be on NBC. Some of these are going to be on Fox Sports. And the others are going to be on USA. Remember, NBC Sports Network is dead on December the 31st, so, you know, it is what it is there. But the fact that all the games are going to be played at Birmingham, you know, it, it, it does, it does kind of, it does kind of harken back to the, um, to the TSL thing, the Spring League thing that they did this year when they had, you know, a bubble in Houston, and I forget the other place, I think it was Orlando or something like that. But yeah, I, I, I'm just I'm just sitting here like, uh, why, why can't we have these games at you know the actual team places where these teams are supposed to be located? But it is what it is. They'll, they'll all get to go to their um, respective locations next year. We'll see how the details sprinkle out in 2023. Because again, remember Fox has a three-year at least three years to finance this league for the time being. We'll see how, again, we'll see how everything goes, because it's a, it's a long process. We, we don't know everything, we just, what, what we do know today is the team days, we know what the schedule potentially looks like, we don't know how the games are going to be split up though, you know, which networks get what on what day, but going back to the schedule real quick, it seems like most games, it's going to be like the, um, it, 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 it's going to be interesting. There's going to be some special Friday games. going to be some special Monday games. Mostly Saturdays and Sundays. I, I'm cool with mostly Saturdays and Sundays. Those special Monday night games I'm cool with. Uh, Friday night games I'm cool with too. Well, that was also what the press, press release said. So I'm, I'm just cool with all that. And again, I, I have to stay optimistic. Because spring football has failed before. And... There's the opportunity for it to fail again, but you never, you never know. You never know what these things. Think. So I'm just wondering, you know, if if things do fail again, I, I, I'll be pretty sad about that. I am also pretty sad there's no Dallas team. I have to force myself to support the Houston Gamblers for a year, at least for a year, you know. Uh, 
Again, we, we don't we don't know we don't know what everything is going to shake out. We don't know what the XFL is going to do either. So, you know, what the Rock and Company is going to do. We don't know we don't know what they're going to do either. But Brian Woods and Company, it seems like they got things shaken out for the time being. You know, you know. Again, it was kind of it was not completely unexpected. Like this, like the news came out, that there was something that was going to be revealed a couple days ago. You know, I just didn't think it'd be, you know, teams. But then again, it, it, it's about that time for the teams to be revealed. It's about like six to, yeah, about six months before we start playing in the USFL. So I can't wait. I If things shake out the way they will shake out, you know, it seems like I will be covering the USFL this year. That's that's pretty obvious. Or rather, in 2022, that's pretty obvious. So, hopefully, things go well like they did with the XFL because there were a lot of views early, you know, with the XFL recaps and stuff like that, and previews. So, um, I, I'll have, I think I'll do notes like I do with college football. I don't do notes with the NFL or, or the NBA or anything like that. Uh, but for USFL, I think I'll do some notes for that. So I think I'll do some notes to try and jot some things down, you know, because it, it is what it is. But how, how do y'all feel about the whole USFL announcing the teams? What's your team? What's your team going to be? Um, unfortunately, you know, there was a Dallas team listed somewhere on, you know, one of those old... Um, what you would call it, but there's no Dallas team. So again, I have to support Houston for the time being. I am a gambling man. <laughs> and for for all of you, you know, new here, come on down and hit that subscribe button. We need that. We need that subscriber count to go up, please. Come on now, we can get it up a little bit. You know, like, share, comment, subscribe, do all that other stuff. You know. And I will see you all later, technically, because this video, again, premiering on a Tuesday. It's technically about to be Tuesday, you know. It's Tuesday on the East Coast, so, you know, it is what it is. Some of y'all may be East Coasters or whatever. So, technically a Tuesday video. So, I'll see y'all later for that sweet, sweet college football nonsense, because we got a lot of college football nonsense to go over. Uh, and I can't wait to talk about college football for this week. But yeah, the USFL, what y'all think, what are y'all thinking, you know, right now? Because there's, there's, again, there's a lot going on. A lot going on in the football landscape. Can't wait to talk to y'all again about the USFL, hopefully when the schedule is released. Take care, everybody.